Hey guys, welcome back to another week in videos. Today I'm going to share with you the products that I will be using for the rest of the week and they're just one brand. So if you're interested in knowing what that brand is and what products I'm going to be using, then just keep watching so this video. So I had a lot of Thanks. requests to do a Mary Kay tutorial, well more than one tutorial. I had a lot of requests for it and since I mean, I mean, I have quite a lot of products from Mary Kay, but I don't know why I feel like I'm always missing something. So if I'm going to be waiting until the day that I have everything I need in order to do the tutorial, then that might never come. So I decided to do a weekly makeup basket with only Mary Kay products. And at the end of the week, I can share with you the products that worked and the ones that didn't, what I would recommend, what I wouldn't. So I'm going to start with eyeshadows because it's kind of awkwardly placed or I don't know. Um, these are the eyeshadows that I'm going to be using from this side to here. I have a lot of colors. Some of them, as you can see, I truly love them and I'm almost out of them. Some others, they're pretty new to my collection. Uh, I do love their eyeshadows and I use them quite frequently. Uh, lately I haven't because I've been doing my weekly makeup basket so there we go for eyeshadows. Then I also have this kind of Mary Kay palette that I have with other colors. Sometimes I just put here in my repeats like I have three of the same blue. I mean how many blues even my, am I gonna need in my lifetime to use them all up? Who knows, but I do have backup um, for it. Then I also will be using two bronzers. The first one is this one up here and I'm gonna put it to the side because once again, there's no light outside and I have a bunch of lamps around me. And this is the matte one. It has two colors, both of them are matte. Also for bronzer, but shimmery bronzer, I'm gonna be using this one. This one, it's also from Mary Kay and I think this one is Desert Sun. Let me check. Yeah, this one is Desert Sun. This is the one that has shimmer in it. And I love it. I've used it in quite a few tutorials. The one down here, it's more of a golden color that you can use as a highlighter. I truly love this. But I'm gonna be using this as a highlighter as well that has also, shimmer. Also, I have this and other right one who does, it doesn't have any shimmer and you're not gonna be able to see it because it's white. But it's a... Um, pink porcelain it has a maybe a pinkish color and I love to place it underneath my um, eye area because this really mattifies it makes my concealer last longer and at the same time it brings the light towards that area I don't know it's truly pretty and amazing I kind of rediscovered it when I started doing my so then for lip product I have six. I went a little crazy. Um, <laughs> two lip liners. The first one is like the reverse lip liner, which is clear and you apply it outside so the lipstick or lip gloss doesn't move anywhere, if you know what I mean. There's also the chocolate one that I truly love this color. It's been a repurchase over and over again. I don't know why, but I love that lip liner. And then for lipsticks, I have two. I feel like these two colors are more of a spring colors, but I'm up for them. They're pretty similar. If you put them side to side, they're pretty similar. The first one is in the color... What's the color? Color Me Coral. And it's a very pretty coral color, of course. And both of these lipsticks are from the True Dimension line from Mary Kay. And this other one is in the color Pink Cherie. I can't really wait to start using all this little fun lipsticks for the summertime. I'm just really excited about it. And then also these two lip glosses. The first one, it's in Beach Bronze, which I think that you can still get it from Mary Kay. And the other one, it's in Island Pink. This has been discontinued. And I like this color, but we'll try to see how it works. I added two works. products that they're not Mary Kay, but I wanted to compare them one to the other. And they're pretty much the same in color, as you can see. They're both white jumbo eye pencil. One is from NYX, and, and the, the other one is in the milk. color Eternal White by Jordana. As you can see, both are white, and I want to use them as bases for um, my eyeshadow. So then for eyeliner, I'm going to be using the Mary Kay Gel Eyeliner in the color Jet Black. This this was a limited edition and it's kind of dry but I'm gonna use the tip that I gave you a few weeks ago about bringing them back to life or making them soft again and 
I'm gonna let you know by the end of the week if this is something worth it because it's coming to Mary Kay, it's coming back and it's gonna stay on the regular line. It's not gonna be a limited edition anymore. So it might be worth trying. For mascara, I'm gonna be using my Ultimate Mascara by Mary Kay. This is black and it's a regular wand. It's supposed to be volumizing, so yeah, I haven't used it in a while and it's pretty much new. So I'm gonna be using I'm this. Be using it. What is it? Ice Coco. <laughs> this is a cream eyeshadow that I have a look in mind for it. So yeah. So then I'm our excited. foundations. I have two. The first one is the medium coverage foundation in the color 400 beige 400. This is my ultimate love it kind of foundation. <laughs> But they don't make it anymore, so I'm pretty bummed about it. And I've been trying to save in it, save it, but it's gonna go bad. So yeah, I'm gonna be using it this week. And also the Luminous Wear. I'm about to finish this one, and I want to repurchase the matte one. But I really want to finish this one first before I order the matte foundation for the summertime. And then for eye primer, I'm gonna be using my Mary Kay eye primer. This is the old version. It works pretty much the same as the new one. It's just a different packaging I should say then for concealer I'm gonna be using this one this is in yellow it's almost out I have a new one but I don't want to open it until I'm done with this one I'm just gonna cut it cut it open and try to use it whatever is left of that and then also for primer I'm gonna be using my foundation primer from Mary Kay I love it that much you know that I've been using this primer lately quite a lot and yeah I'm almost out of it as soon as well girls that was it I hope you enjoyed this weekly makeup basket um, I've never done a one brand kind of thing but I had a lot of requests for Mary Kay so I thought well, I might as well do a makeup basket and just get it over with try to you know try different products make them work together and let you know in comparison with other products if they're worth it or not so I hope uh, this sounds like a good idea for you too I love you guys thank you for watching this video until the end and I will see you in tomorrow's video Mwah.